hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial video i'll be showing you how to display different versions of the bible and relics in obs using ostream hub ostream hub is an online site that works like easy worship so if you do not have easy worship ostream hub will do exactly the same that you are able to achieve by using easy worship so in case you do not have a setup for easy worship or maybe you had a trial version of easy worship and you've been wondering on what you can do after it expired please consider this as a very useful tool so i'll go to my browser i'm using google chrome and in my search i'll type all stream hub and search then it will come it will come like this i'll have to open it from there if you are new it will require you to signing up if you are already registered it will require you to sign in okay so basically uh under sign up what is just there is showing you the packages that they have to offer there's the free package which is zero zero dollar and there's a basic package which is five dollars and there's a pro package which is ten dollars so for what we usually use obs for during our live stream this free version of it this free package is able to achieve all that so just come here under free version and say get started under get started if you are using it for the first time it will require you to put your email and uh, it will be sent to your email address then you verify me it has gone direct to the dashboard because i once logged in i'm just from logging in before i started this so please bear with me it is very easy to register just put your email address and create a password then from there you'll be able to be brought to this uh, uh screen so there are two things here that you need to note under dashboard there is where it is written details when you just open it it will come here there are two important things here there is this one where it says obs overlay link then it is in blue here and on the far right there is uh, the default obs screen so i will advise you that you open you you open this one the default obs screen okay just leave it like this this is where you'll be monitoring what is being uh, uh, taken to your live stream there okay so we want now to link this site to our obs what we are supposed to do is uh, on the same dashboard come to where it says obs overlay link on the blue which says obs link please do not click as if you want to open it what we want to do is to copy the link so instead when you bring your mouse here right click and go to where it says copy link address if you have reached this far I can assure you that you are 50 percent into this tutorial after copying the link i'll have to take it to obs under obs i'll come where it says sources and i'll go to where it says browser source browser browser um let me just do something that i usually do in all my tutorials i like whenever i'm teaching there is a video loop that is playing in the background that will be giving us a feel of a live camera so i'll go to where my my clips are i'll uh, drag this okay i'll say ctrl s so that you can feel my screen 
then I'll click on properties and I'll say loop. I already taught this in the previous uh, uh, tutorials, that's why I'm not uh, stressing to teach much on this. Then I'll lock it and I'll say transition. Okay, so let's pick it from where we ended. Mind you, we have already copied the link and we want to bring the link into OBS so that now what is there can be showing in OBS. Under sources, I'll go where it says uh, add, which is the plus sign down under sources. And I'll go to where it says browser. Under browser, I'll give this uh, source a name. Mind you, I'll be using this for a Bible. Um, Bible and lyrics. This is very handy. I'm telling you, you'll love it. And it's very simple. Once I'm here, mind you, I've already copied the link. So I need now to come and paste it here. I'll come here, select everything, delete this, and paste the link that I copied there. I'll come and right click and say paste. Then don't say OK yet. Come to where it says Widith and Hyatt. Under Widith, I uh, put 1280. Under Hyatt, put 720. This is very important. If you don't put this, your scriptures and your relics will be cutting because the, 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 the screen which will be there won't be matching with the settings. So please make sure that your width is at 1280, your height is at 720. Then from there, you say, OK. Okay, if you have reached this stage, congratulations. Let's now bring something here. Let's go back to our browser. Mind you, we have copied the link already. We have opened our OBS screen. In case it's not open, just come here to where it says default OBS screen. It will open like this. Okay. Let's go, let's start with scriptures, then we'll go to relics. So uh, we, we, are under, we are under details menu, let's go to scripture. Look at this. You don't find this in most uh, setups. But here you are able to find multiple Bible versions. There's an amplified version there, there's a the KJV version, there's a the message. Uh, NIV, uh, New Living Translation, and even other languages. So this is a plus to you who is in the media. Because at times, maybe you are at church, your pastor will read a scripture in uh, King James and will demand for the same in uh, New, 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 New what's this International Version or any other version. So look here. Here's what we will do. Just here, let's select one scripture. Genesis 1, verse 1. As I've clicked on it here, it is giving me how it is showing on uh, the screen there. Let me go back to OBS. I'll find that even here, it is showing. So if I want it to, to be showing on the live screen, I'll just say transition. I hope this is easy enough for everybody to follow. Let's say uh, I want a different scripture. The preacher says, read me something from uh, Matthew. I'll come here where it says book. I'll go to where Matthew is found. Matthew 1 verse 5. So there's Matthew chapter 1, the verses are here. I'll go to where it says chapter 5. And here I have. Once I just click on it, it will show here. If it's showing here, it means even on OBS, it is showing. And even this side, it has changed automatically. If you want to change version, you just say, you, you change, let's say you want uh, NIV. You click there. 
and uh, you still want this uh, just upon clicking NIV uh, you click on the same uh, scripture which was mentioned if you go back this side you find that the version has changed this is a very nice tool if you are doing your live streaming for the church okay once the scripture is the uh, yeah, the reading is done just uh, 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 come on the on the on the show on the on the eye icon there and transition it then it goes for the Bible this is it then for the relics let's go to the relics we are here you might have your own relics or maybe the song that you uh, they are singing that you want to show a uh, uh, relics for is a well known song on the internet so you need to come here where it says web lyrics under web lyrics here you submit or rather you type in you type in the name of uh, the song so i'll say waymaker waymaker by snatch and artists are right snatch now say submit it will search and here it is here it is so if we are seeing you are here okay this is my obs i'll just go to my obs if it was off i'll switch it on and uh, i'll say uh what's this uh, uh on on transition and here it is so let's let let let, let, let me take it that they are singing whatever i am clicking this site it will be showing on the obvious side so you are here it's showing here moving in on me is here and even this side is there so whatever you you are, you are clicking it i worship you is here and this side just like that is the chorus part way make a way is it way is it way is it way is it way make a miracle okay way make a way okay there it is so let's say you want to save songs in advance okay because i'm doing this while it's uh, uh the thing is online so uh, let's say the choir tells you we'll sing Waymaker, we'll see how great thou art we'll sing something by don moyen so what you do is you come here and uh you come and copy everything come and copy the whole song you highlight the whole song like that and say copy then i'll go to where it says local relics account where it says add song then i'll give it a title waymaker by snatch i'll type it in then insert relics here the relics that i copied online there i'll come and paste them here once this is done i'll say submit once it is submitted this is what you should do in case you come here where it says select songs you click and you do not find the song just go here where it says we, we, here where we refresh the page from just refresh the page go back to relix when you come here select song your waymaker by snatch will be here so as they are starting to sing mind you my obs screen is off so i have to sit to open it first so as they are singing i will go be going with them whatever is here is showing on my obs so let's uh, do the last song okay i will say uh, okay maybe after 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 the singing uh, there is a scripture which is which has been given uh maybe it's uh, this one okay there we are it is showing there then uh, i'll take it that uh, after this one after the preaching uh they will sing a a a, a song again and uh, the choir has told me that they sing the song they will sing 
and they, they want me to organize the relics. I'll come on the relics and uh, I'll go say where I'll go where it says web relics. Uh, maybe it's a song done by Don Moen. God will make a way. God will make a way. Done by Don Moen. Don Moen. I say submit. Let me search if it's there. Sure, I'll be able to see. Yes, it's here. So, if it's, they have already started singing, there's no need for me to start saving. But if it, they have told me uh, uh, before time, I have to save it. Okay? So, let's say they have told me before time, I want to organize my, my, my stream before we start streaming. I'll come here and highlight everything. Okay? And I'll say, I'll right click and say copy. Go back to local relics. Mind you, this was a web relics. I'll go back to local relics and say add song. So this time around, this is God will make a way by Don Moen. Okay, that will be my title. Then whatever I copied from there, I'll come and uh, I'll paste it here. Then I'll say submit. Mind you, after submitting, always remember to refresh the page. Come there. Once you've refreshed, go to where your relics are and go to where it says select song. You are assured that your song is there. So if they are doing two songs, I know they'll start with uh, Waymaker by Sinatch. Then at the end, they'll do God Will Make A Way by Don Moen. So let's say there is time for them to do the Don Moen song. I just click on the Don Moen song. It opens here. Always remember to open this. Open there. Then as they start singing, I'll be going with them. I don't even have to check what is going on there. I know when it's here, I'll have to just check at the first... Okay, I'll switch it on and transition. Once it is on the screen, whatever I change this side changes automatically this side. I hope you've learned something and hope I hope this uh, knowledge will help you to becoming a better live streamer. Mind you, I've always said that my main purpose on this channel is to educate somebody who has a passion for live streaming is to equip somebody, to inspire somebody and also to create a network. Would you like to work with me? Maybe you would like me to teach your team at church. Please, get hold of me. If you drop me an email, then we'll be able to do business. I'm telling you, it will be more affordable than you can offer. I hope you've learned something. Cheers, guys. See you in the next tutorial.